Yoski Broskis, this is Zach Cloud, and I am on the Game Mode 4 server, the one that Sparks set up a while back. Uh, I'm at the Patchwork House, which I built, and, uh, and everyone contributed to make the house a home. And all around me are uh, so many, many different places now. This place has grown. It, there's a whole actual... whoops! A uh, patchwork town around us, and other towns, and big old place. It's it's just crazy how massive this place has gotten in such a short amount of time, and and the way people work together and stuff is inspiring, and uh, it's like it's just cool. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go off in a direction and I'm gonna uh, start mining. I want to get more materials so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like try to uh, get more lapis which we always need more of to enchant and uh, uh, of course, diamonds. I always need diamonds. I don't so much need iron. I got lots of that, but I might get some anyway to contribute to the rails that are being built. So I'll meet you guys when I find a place to set up shop. Okie dokie, I have found a cave, so time to start uh, exploring. But uh, this has been my first time uh, playing on a such a populated server and uh, it's quite an experience. It's like when people are around me I get a little tense because I don't know, you know, they might, uh, they might hurt me or kill me, they might be friendly, they might grief me, I don't know. So, I, like, I don't know, man. <clears throat> it, uh, you know, most of the people here are good, though and aren't gonna do that to ya. We had some trouble with this one group a while back, uh, but everything seems to be okay now. So, uh, much less worry about that. I'm getting more comfortable with everyone. Everyone seems to be more familiar with the rules and stuff now than they were at the beginning. A pretty place. Light it up here. But yeah, it it I think took a while for everyone to get settled in and get used to the idea of treating each other with respect and everything. Uh, and it's working. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, I, uh, I've gotten opportunities to help out people, and, uh, and they've helped me, and, uh, people give each other stuff, and, oh, basically, it's like, if you're worried about something happening and then, you know, you're worried that someone might be bad to you or something and then they end up being good to you, there's this feeling of elation. It, it feels really good. It's like, wow, you know, you had your low expectations and, and, uh, and then everything turned out better than expected. It, uh, it's a good feeling. It's really neat.
There's a real sense of community, too. Like, I've been on PvP servers before and stuff, and it's, you know, I guess a lot more competitive, so there's not so much togetherness, and plus there's, like, way too many people. I think that we're at a good number of people here. Uh, it It's enough so you can start learning people's names, uh, start knowing who people are, uh, but, but also enough to keep things really active and, and energetic. So yeah, I think that it's been turning out really good. Whoa, this goes way down. Awesome. <laughs> the water's still coming. There we go. And yeah, I've, thanks to Crazy Man, he's been all recommending spider eyes up and down as a delicious treat. And well, food has always been an issue on this server. Even though there are people who kindly give, uh, like, free watermelons away and things like that, sometimes the farm breaks down, though. But, uh... Luckily, uh, we have a spider farm, and so the spider eyes are a good source of eating. Oh, yep, and I made myself a nice pickaxe. Heck yeah. Uh, got Fluffy back. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Silk Touch 1. And I've got pretty good armor. And a good weapon. And then another good weapon that I use against the undead. And a decent bow. I'll keep working on it and working on all these things and getting things better and stuff. Let's see what level am I at. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna continue with digging. Watching out for lava, of course. And uh, see what we can see. But yeah, there's a... a so quickly, farms got set up, someone went to the end and slayed the dragon. Although, earlier today, uh, we did a stream where the end was reset, so we all got a chance to go in there and fight several dragons at once. I managed not to die! It was a miracle! No bullcraft for me there! <laughs> Except I accidentally killed someone who was standing on my block in the water, and, and yeah, I felt bad. But I gave them back their stuff, and... Everything, I guess, is okay as far as I know. Let's see. I think I'm actually going to... do something like this so I can switch between pickaxes. Yeah, people made an auto furnace. There's a snowball machine or snow machine. Oops. Gonna switch them. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, I made so many iron pickaxes, so I need to wear them out already. I I've got way too many. Um, everyone has set up so many things, and it, uh, one bad part, though, is there are so many rail systems, and none of them are complete, as far as I can tell. Like, even though there are several asking for donations and things like that, none of them actually got done, 
and so they all kind of go to the middle of nowhere and then stop and and it's silly and confusing so it's like that's why no one's taking the railways there was one that seems like it might be meant to go somewhere but I think vertical rails is off or something I don't know it it just won't won't go it, it stops after a certain point where it looks like it's supposed to go back upward uh, so I don't know <laughs> Uh, hopefully it'll get resolved at some point and, and we can start riding the rails. Cause I like riding mine carts, it's fun. I like trains in real life. And I, I, I'm not really a fan of roller coasters though, but I think that I would have become one if I hadn't injured my neck on one. Like, I injured my neck on bumper cars originally. But then my siblings took me to a park years later when my neck was pretty much getting better. And they insisted that this one wooden one was smooth and it wouldn't hurt my neck. So I says, okay. But it had signs on it saying that if you have like neck injuries or something, you shouldn't be on it. And I was like, I don't know. And they said, oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And well, I went on it and re-injured my neck. Yeah. So I still have my permanent neck pain and it, it had been almost better, but now it's worse again. Uh, they felt really bad, they've apologized and stuff, and I've forgiven them, but still, it, uh, gosh, there's no more cave, is there? Oh, I hear lava. I did. I swear I did. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Hopefully I'll find it. Oh well, it it's easy to just talk while I'm mining, I guess. Uh I guess I'll I'll come back again when I find some more cave. gonna say something but I forget. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, good thing he made me look up. check the corner. Oh no! I forgot exploding bats! That's a thing here. That's one of the modules that have been installed. It's exploding bats. Where'd he go? Oh boy. I don't know where it went. It sounds awful close. <laughs> I don't know. Woo! Phew. Somehow it exploded elsewhere. Good. <laughs> was pretty thrilling. Oh boy. I uh, am 
we're not in UHC mode, so I'm allowed to be a little brash. Yeah! It actually feels kind of good to be. Uh, whoa! A little reckless. I'm reckless. So reckless. Um, was that the other side that I was on? Why is it so bright here then? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, so I did find my way back. Good. Jolly good. Got my fluffy pickaxe. I can hear more lava below. Let's see what's up here. If maybe there's more gold or something. Ah, come on. This is a strange water flow. Look at that. <laughs> Most peculiar. Anywho, let's get some more iron. And then I will go across the lava pool here. See if there's anything nice over there. I'm almost out of torches. So I'd better remedy that. After collecting more Brown gold, ha! -ha. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. That shadow fox, uh, he was on earlier. We were talking and stuff. Um, I've had to help people with the spider farm because a lot of people didn't realize how it worked. Uh, so I've given a lot of people tips on how to use it. Um, it's nice to help people. I like helping people out and, and this server's given me the opportunity to do just that a lot. So, it's cool. Oh, where'd you come from? Me! See, I hear a skeleton. Whoop! Did that bounce off of me? Interesting. Gotcha. Worth it for arrows. Um, as far as I know, we still don't have a skeleton spawner uh, under control. So that would be a great thing to find, especially since I'm not terribly, horribly far from spawn. I'm quite a distance, but not that much. Okay, I found another cave. At least I think so. Get this nummy nummy gold. Go around, see what's up. Ooh. A symphony of zombies. <laughs> So I 
guess there's yet another cave behind this wall. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe I'll be able to make myself a heart canister. That'd be another cool feature that's uh, made on the uh, uh, this server. So much iron! It's like I have an excuse to actually get it now since. Uh, uh, it's uh, on this server instead of ALP, where we pretty much have plenty of iron. So it feels like fresh, because I can consider things more valuable. But of course, that's only until they make an iron farm, which they probably either have or will. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could help find a skeleton farm or something. That'd be cool. Oh, need to eat up my spider eyes. Hmm, I would imagine that they're filled with gel. That's either very delicious or very nasty uh, visual there. Oh, what a cave. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'll just uh, keep searching. Here we go. Hmm, has someone else been here though? That is the question. It's possible. If they are, they haven't taken everything, but uh, yeah, this is a cool looking ravine. Well, let's check each end and see what we can come up with. just cuts off abruptly. Huh. That's unusual. At least in my experience. Skirt the edge here. So far, I am finding pretty much nothing but redstone and gold. It's like, this is gold day. I mean, this is great, but kind of almost getting ridiculous. 46 gold ore. Uh, can't get much better than that in terms of uh, an outing for gold. 
Thing is, I was also kind of wanting, uh, you know, diamonds, and, uh, uh, we and lapis, but, but hey, I'll take what I can get. quite happy with what I'm getting. Yes, indeed. Seems like last time I was uh, a lot more lucky with uh, diamonds. So it's like each outing has its own, uh, its own thing. So, uh, uh, I've, whoops, wrong pick. Not that I really need to be getting redstone more. I mean, look at this. I have a stack and a half of, of ore blocks, let alone actual ore. You. Once again, save by the distance. Uh oh. Woo! I'm not even sure what happened there. <laughs> Was it the bat or a creeper or 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Not even sure. Come on, Skelly Poo, you used to be a lot more dangerous. Oh, I hear the bat. Wow, this is a complex set of caverns. Oh. And me without torches right now. Here we go. Sorted. It seems like they don't shoot as quickly as they used to. Hmm. Touche! <laughs> touche, touche. I'm gonna get plenty of redstone. Uh, I guess so that I can donate it towards the uh, rail projects. Plural. <laughs> See how one of those goes. Whoa, lots of lava. Danger. 
Don't you so? It's kind of neat that there's a natural bridge there. But I don't want to take any chances. It's like, to make it safer, I kind of feel bad for uh, purging the natural lava. But... But I want to be able to navigate uh, and search thoroughly, and this is why. Being thorough. like there's only one block. Ah, uh, that's too bad. But it better than nothing. Ah! There. Come on. Didn't want a place. safer to grab. Phew. There we go. At least I got one. That's better than nothing. Well, I'll just keep on exploring these caves. More gold. And even more. So much gold, so much redstone. I I can almost skip the redstone. Don't want to skip the gold. Uh, I'll get it anyway. Uh, I guess I'll catch you guys when I find even more stuff. Oh yeah, I found my way back to the beginning area and realized that I forgot all about some nice gold. And lapis. Derp! I was too busy trying to light everything up and forgot about a bunch of good stuff. Let's go ahead and soap touch this as well. Because I got a Fortune 2 pick at home. So that'll come in handy. Come on down, creeper. Not gonna try it? Let me help. Mm. Whoops! That was dumb of me. Derp. I thought that that was a two block high hole for some reason. Hi hole, hi hole, it wasn't a two block hole. It was only one, and that's no fun. Hi hole, hi hole, hi hole, hi hole. Am 
might as well keep on getting iron as I find it so I can help with the rails and some coal so I can smelt it too quickly back and forth there. Oh boy. Oh, sorry, had to unplug my laptop. Oh. At least they seem to blow up early enough to not be too much of a problem if you're hiding. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, once again, it seems like they don't blow up at the worst of times to catch you off guard. So I guess this is a little bit of bug testing for Sparks. Ah. Huh place I've been, but somehow didn't light. Huh? Or someone's been here. Yeah, this is the place with the bridge, and I just somehow didn't go across here. That's right. Well, uh, time to get digging again. Actually, I'm almost out of pick, and I'm getting close to out of torches, so I'll probably start heading up real soon. Yeah, I think I'll uh, start heading up. Well, this was fun. I enjoyed myself. I uh, got some nice jump scares from those bats. <laughs> Um, I love all the things on this server, like, everything is just so cool. Ooh, congrats. She gotta hit him from pretty darn far to get that achievement. This is another cave I've been to before, but didn't explore all of, or didn't light all of, for whatever reason. Well. Okay, time for me to start heading up. Oh, after I mine some more gold! <laughs> Good thing I keep retracing my steps. I'll meet you guys. Ah! Yay! There we go. Yay! Meet you guys back at the camp. I keep finding old places. <laughs> Meet you guys back! And here are my spoils. Almost two stacks of redstone or seven lapis, which will be a lot more when it's mined. Tons of iron and almost a stack of gold. Ooh yeah! Here's an, a nice above ground view of Patchtown. You can see there's all kinds of stuff everywhere. 
I'm up here because I'm uh, smashing these with my uh, pick called Plenty, my Fortune 2. So I'll be getting plenty of redstone. And I got over a stack of uh, lapis from those just seven blocks. It's pretty amazing. The horse shack is a little old place where we can ride some ponies. Horse shack, baby horse shack, baby horse shack. <laughs> Just gonna walk around town a little bit. Love these trees. Ah, I guess they've got info on the weight of the armor and stuff there. Cool. Yeah, the uh, train sort of stops here. <laughs> Did you see the chat? Oh, I'm stuck. That's cool. But yeah, there's just so many places everywhere. It's it's cool. There aren't a lot of people on right now because the server was down for uh, several hours for maintenance. So I guess a lot of people aren't on at the moment. Oh, I want to show you guys the melon shop. I like it a lot. I've been mo whoop, whoop. I've been mostly eating uh, spider Ooh. eyes instead of uh, traditional foods, though, since they're so plentiful. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Because of disappearing. Aw, oh, it's closed. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, the the this whole place is just amazing. I I like being here. It's like having an actual town to go to, unlike in real life, where it's kinda Okay. Kind of not much around here. So there you go. There's uh, our big community here. Uh, see you guys later. I have wheat and the sheep are running away from me. Instead of coming toward me, they're running away. The sheep, come back! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was weird. It's cool how you can see caves through the ice, but uh, in in the ice caves, but torches can be a problem. <laughs> we. <Whee! laughs> Someone else has been here. Neat. Well, I'm gonna turn and go elsewhere so I don't interfere.
this guy just barged right into our house. I guess he's here to stay, for now.